I already know which one I'm going with. <laughs> to my channel so in today's video we're going to be doing a get ready with me this is kind of a four in one um we have hair makeup fragrance and outfit so make sure that you stay till the end of this video to select my fragrance that we're wearing for the day also i do want to say i am so excited to be putting y'all on to these new fragrances because these are long lasting fragrances this isn't my first time putting y'all on so y'all should already have a clue of what fragrances I'm talking about. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop into this video because I can't wait to put y'all on some more fragrances. Like the ones that they smell so good, y'all. Like so good. I, I'm obsessed. It's on me right now because obviously this is after, but your girl smelling good. <laughs> So yeah, let's just go ahead and hop into this video. Oh my God. So I'm actually filming this, um, in daylight and i don't normally wait i don't normally record my videos um during the daytime but just because i want to go ahead and like get it done i'm going to um and i kind of want to take pictures i don't know if i'm going to get to that but i know i want to take pictures and my hair just hasn't been done in a few days so since i'm going to do like a natural hairstyle i decided that i'm going to film it because y'all always ask me about like tutorials on my natural hairstyles that I always do for myself. So I was just like, you know what? I may as well record it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna do like a updo. I'm really debating on if I wanna do, like I seen one where it's like, you have your hair up in a ponytail and you have the two strings coming out the front and then the ponytail is curled or the ponytail that the era just had with like flipped ends. I'm really debating because I don't really know which one I want to do. I need to go ahead and plug in a sweater or so I don't know that. Or maybe I should do like a swoop ponytail. I don't know. I wish I had like some braid in here so I could do me like a braided ponytail. See, this is the one that I was talking about. Y'all see it. Like a little too. I think I'm gonna do the ponytail with a swoop in the front. Oh, with a little bang hanging down in the front. So this one probably won't be that hard since I've already like did it before. So I'm gonna start out with my hair first. We're gonna do hair first and then um, move on to makeup. And I'm sorry about Bronco. Uh, let's see, I guess. Part right here. Also, I really don't understand. Let me see. Was her part curved? No, it's not the curve, but that's also a wig, so I wonder if it makes a difference. Is that too much hair for the bang? I don't think so. I think that's fine. Okay, so now that that is figured out, I'm going to focus on like flat ironing the perimeters of my head. Cause I mean, my hair is mainly straight already um, for the most part. I hope this isn't all the way on high. It's not, okay. This doesn't look that bad. I mean, not with this bun in the front. Okay, so now I hate that this shirt keeps on like being. It's giving me very much like to be. Now I'm gonna move on to basically getting the ponytail together. So I'm gonna brush it up into the ponytail, you know, 
like how it's going to look and then perfect it. So I'm going to use got to be sprayed because that's what I be seeing the girls use when they doing ponytails. That's what we going to use. So I'm going to just spray it. Maybe I think they be taking out the edges first too. burn my finger okay so now I can put it in a real pony and actually like you know grip it tight make it super tight <laughs> and make it like you know stand up a little bit away from my head okay so now that we've did that I'm going to do the curls Okay, now as far as this, is this gonna be cute? I think so. Okay, so now that we have that, I think what I'm gonna do is, well, I guess each each part I am gonna have to flatter. And is it just me or is my hair? always super super dry it is like straight like i literally just washed my hair y'all so i'm just trying to understand like why is there so much um dandruff like i have to deal with dandruff so much when my hair is straight but I don't really have to deal with it when my hair is curly. And I put oil in it, like, I mean, I put stuff in it. It's not dry, I don't get it. So if y'all have that problem too, let me know what's the reasoning or like what I should do about it. Cause I don't like that. That's my only problem, like, my hair isn't all the way flat, you know? And that's because it's not all, it wasn't all the way straight to begin with. Okay, so now that the hair is done, we're gonna move on into makeup. Now look, we kinda have a dilemma because I'm out of setting spray. So I really don't know how this is about to turn out. Um, Cause I don't have any more setting spray, so. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just bear with me, I guess. Your girl don't have any more things, right? For makeup, I'm just gonna be doing, y'all, I really think I wanna change this shirt. Like, this shirt is not given to me on camera. It's just really not doing it for me. I just put on my robe. I feel like this will do. 
um the natural lighting i don't know do y'all like this i've never filmed or recorded um like any of my sit down type of videos with natural lighting before so y'all let me know if y'all actually like it so i'm gonna just start out by doing my brows first obviously um i'm gonna pin my hair back like this instead of how i picked it the first time i'm just gonna use my anastasia brow freeze i actually kind of need to do my brows it's about time to do them again and um if y'all watched my last video i think i said it in the video i can't remember but do y'all know i'm gonna look it up matter of fact because i'm trying to figure out is there a certain um applicator that you're supposed to use with the brow freeze maybe i missed it when i was in the store because like i just use like my eyebrow spoolies for it um to apply it and my eyebrow spool is like just getting full of product and i don't know maybe i'm just supposed to clean it or what or just use a different one every time but yeah i definitely need um like a specific applicator for this i love this though y'all see how that just gave me laminated eyebrows okay and now that's really the only thing that i do to my brows and then you know later i'm gonna go in and highlight them but i'm gonna go in with my fenty foundation I need to order some new bronzer like i'm out of my bronzer and they don't carry it in the store anymore the morphe bronzer that i stick to or have been using for so long i haven't seen it in stores in a while so i'm not sure if they just aren't carrying it or what but i'm pretty sure they're just not carrying it in stores anymore um, because they have like a whole lot of other products on display now that i've been seeing and i got that like so many years ago probably like two three years ago and it's really lasted me for a really, really long time i mean it should because i don't really wear makeup like that for... the only time i really put on makeup is when i'm making a video <laughs> Or if I'm like going out, going out. But I had really got into like not wearing makeup and that's probably why my skin had started doing so good too. I'm pretty sure. So I just primed with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, and then I'm just gonna do a dab of this. Actually, I was gonna put it on my hand, but I'm gonna use this little makeup um, thing that I have here I got this a few years back when I was starting out my makeup artist journey if you didn't know I started doing makeup first before I started doing nails um that was only for like a few weeks so <laughs> I did it for a little minute but then I was just like yeah this isn't fast enough for me so I ended up moving on over into the nail industry fun fact if you didn't know I had a few makeup clients and I honestly feel like if I would have kept on going, I would be a beast with the makeup now, like seriously, because when I did do my clients, one thing that I was really good at and that I applied myself on was they never looked like ghosts. They didn't look dead. Like they looked their skin tone. Um, I never made them look like, you know, casket ready. Cause that's what that was really my main thing with getting my makeup done. I think I'm gonna do like a light beat today, honestly. Actually, I'm not gonna do too much. So I'm not gonna put more foundation on my forehead. Um, but that was really my main thing and why I learned how to do my own makeup because my experiences getting my makeup done, it just what it every time I would try it again and try it again, and I'm not gonna say it was just all the way bad but there's a certain way that i like my nails my hair my lashes especially my makeup like i used to have so many different uh requests when getting my make makeup done like i didn't want this i didn't want that i do want this da, 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 da. and it was really because i was just trying to figure out like what was making it look crazy um but it's really the importance of undertones like is number one that's what i think it is like a lot of people mess up with undertones because most of the time with makeup artists well like if you like a real deal makeup artist they probably know that i'm pretty sure and they have like a variety a variety of foundations and stuff 
but some people once you have like a set like color you know when some people have like a lot of clients that are usually around the same tone so they will just have like a few um foundations because like those two foundations can like go for somebody you know but those tones may not be that person's undertone and undertones really make or break your makeup like having the wrong undertone in your foundation your concealer will really make or break your makeup so um i really think that's more so what it was because i have like a very yellow undertone and if you use like a cool tone on me or even probably like um like a neutral tone because this foundation the four this is fenty's 420 and i'm pretty sure this is like their what tone is this i cannot remember what tone it was but whatever tone this is it's not really all the way perfect for my liking um because before i was using 430 which is darker but the tone of it is a little bit more golden and you know what i would like in my makeup so i mean it's really all about what you prefer though you know and how you want your makeup to look uh but me i'm just very very like I don't know. I don't like looking crazy by the face, especially not with makeup. I would rather just do no makeup than look crazy with makeup on. So I just did some little concealer up under my eyes. I'm going to blend this out. And I really only like, I feel like my forehead kind of has like this natural glow to it anyway. And plus my bang is covering up my forehead. So that would just be wasted product. <laughs> There's really no sense in me even putting. Mm. okay so that's that but i am going to add like just a little bit of this makeup forever um hd concealer i don't let me let me test this out actually because i haven't used this in a while and i'm not sure okay the undertone of that is fine because i just want like i do want to try the like super super bright under eye We're gonna try it today if you can tell I'm kind of just trying to keep it like right there up under the eye because that's really all I want I like it it actually makes a difference like my my concealer is actually standing out from the rest of my face because most of the time when I do my makeup like my concealer doesn't really stand out you know oh my god yes ma'am i love it okay so i'm gonna set with my morphe setting powder this is in the shade uh what shade is this hold on um i don't usually put that much uh powder on but <laughs> um yeah banana rich so if you know me you know i love me a nice orangish yellow very very yellow orange okay here's the light messing up um setting powder because i feel like that's what looks good on my skin tone um, and i'm setting with my morphe bronzer has been my baby for the longest Did I just say I'm setting with? I hope not. I hope I said the correct terminology. I meant I'm contouring if I said it wrong. I feel like I'll be messing up so much like when I'm recording and then when I watch the film back, like I just, I just be like, I'll be saying words like if I say I'll, I'm about to go to crumble cookies and then I say a different sentence, I'll put like cookies or crumble or something in place of what I was really supposed to say. And I've realized that in the last few videos and like I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I have a problem with that because it makes me sound like illiterate. Okay, I'm going to dust this away. Or pat in here. 
And then I'm going to contour my nose, kind of. I'm not going to add too much extra contour onto the brush than what's already on there. Because I don't really like too harsh of a contour anymore. I know I used to. Again, the lighting is crazy. That's one thing about filming in daytime lighting or just using like um, natural lighting. Like the lighting really be playing with your top. As far as my nose contour, it looks a little bit more harsh on this side. But it could be the fact that the lighting is weird. So I'm going to leave it alone before I be trying to make one side harsh. Because this side look harsh when really it's because the lighting is coming in from this side. So it probably just look. Because in this mirror it looks okay. So I'm going to let it be. Um, As far as my. Do I want to put highlighter on up under my brow? Hmm. I really don't think I do. Oh my god, my lashes look a hot mess and my lash brush is in the other room. I really am out of freaking setting spray, y'all. <laughs> That's it. I'm so sorry for the continuous light changes. But I'm gonna just do my everyday lip. A setting spray and I'm gonna put like a little bit of oil in my hair too because it kind of looks a little dry I'm trying to debate on if I want to um oh that kind of made it look better too the oil definitely just made it look like 10 times better I opened up the window and I feel like it looks pretty. It's pretty. I feel pretty. So that's really all that matters. And then I did also just wrap a piece of my hair around it. The only thing about it though is I wish that this side was like more so curled up instead of like straight. Because y'all see like this side is more so curled or whatever. But that's really the only thing. I feel like I did pretty good. It's super cute. So now I'm going to find me something to put on. Um, because I do think I'm going to go and take pictures today. Or at least I'm going to try. I don't know. I'm going to try though. So, find something to put on real quick. And then we'll also get into the fragrance. Which I'm so, so, so excited about. I already know which one um, is my favorite between the two. I smelled it. I couldn't wait. I smelled it already. So, I'm going to still give y'all like my opinion on both of them. But I already know which one I'm going with. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, now that my face and everything is done hair is done i put on my outfit which i am going to show y'all but first before we do that i want to go ahead and tell y'all about my new dossier fragrances that i got so i have two new fragrances um y'all know i've worked with dossier in the past and i always 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 i'm so happy with all of my new fragrances that i get from them like every single fragrance i get from them because if you don't know they're inspired by luxury perfumes and fragrances they're just for a better price okay so for my girls that's like on a budget and you want the 200 dollars perfume whatever the case may be but you know you're not trying to spend that much on a perfume that's here got you okay so i am gonna put everything up on the screen as far as pricing with these two perfumes so this first one that i grabbed here oh and the packaging before i get into that the packaging is super super cute um the first one that i grabbed here is fruity honey so its top notes are black currant and green leaves its middle notes is honey and nectarine and the base notes are peach and vetiver um i'm not sure if i pronounced that right but i'm gonna spray it i actually don't remember what this smell like so we're gonna be in our first impression together this is fruity honey okay so i can definitely smell the nectarine in this and mm, 
Okay, I can smell the peach as well. So I'm really smelling the nectarine and the peach. I don't smell um, the green leaves. Cause green leaves gives me the vibe that it's gonna smell like grass or like outside or something. So this is a really like fruity scent. That's what I'll say about it. Really like citrusy kind of. Um, it will be a nice scent for like daytime, a daytime lunch. I'm not really gonna say like a fresh, fresh type of scent for like out of the shower, lounge around. This would definitely be a good one to go to lunch um, during the daytime if you wanna smell like fruity and like citrusy. It, it smells really good. Let's see. This one is actually inspired by Jo Malone's Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. And its concentration is 18%. So, yeah, that's Fruity Honey. So, I'm going to smell the other one before I make my decision. I know I said that I was um, I already knew which one I was going to wear. But, I'm not going to lie. I lied. I thought I knew, but I, I really didn't remember. <laughs> I thought I did. So, this is Floral Berries. It top notes are peony red apple and berries the middle notes are rose carnation and jasmine and the base notes are suede accord and musk so this one is inspired by Jo malone's peony and blush suede okay i know that this is gonna be it because i said i need to go and get uh the actual Jo malone fragrance that's another thing that i love about these so you don't have to go ahead and spend you know 200 300 dollars on a fragrance just because you want to see how it's going to actually smell on you you know you want to get that vibe and see how it's going to match with your body chemistry with these you can just get you know the version that's inspired by it at a cheaper price and then if you actually like it you know after you get a few wears out of it and then you actually fall in love with it then you can go get the actual original version so i do love that so this one is floor berries like i said and i know this is about to smell good because i do remember this one it's so feminine like it just smells so clean and refreshing. It gives me like girly vibes. It's going to definitely make me feel like super girly and um, just like, I don't know, like soft and gentle. That's what it's giving. That's the vibes of this one that I'm getting. Uh, you can definitely smell the peony because I have a peony candle, candle for my bathroom and I love it. So that's probably why I'm obsessed with this too because I love that candle. And this kind of smells like a little bit, a little bit like it, but better. Yes, this just smells so clean. Like, oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, this, oh, my God, this smells so good. <laughs> Wondering my favorite between the two is definitely flor Floral Berries, um, which is inspired by Jo Malone's Penny and Blush Suede Cologne, like I said, once again. And the other one, Fruity Honey it's runner up <laughs> so yeah those are my favorites and i want to thank fast year so much for sending me out these fragrances and partnering up with me once again for this video i will have a code so that you all can get you a few coins off even though they're already super affordable um and everything else will be linked in the description box if you do decide that you want to go and grab you a few new fragrances especially with summertime coming around those two that i just told you all about i would definitely recommend for like a good summer um fragrance they are very like refreshing and give that summer vibe but the peony one is year round baby girl it's year round and giving girly like i feel like that fragrance actually matches what I look like right now. Because with this ponytail, this bang, it's just giving girly girl. So hopefully y'all can like get the gist or get the vibes of what I'm saying when I'm talking about it. Like it just, yeah, just go get it so you can see what I mean. Uh, I'm about to get up and show y'all the fit or whatever because I do plan on taking pictures. I honestly was going to, um, wait, did I just mess up that curl? I was honestly planning on saving this outfit instead of just using it to just take pictures. But honestly, at this point, it's like it's about to be summer and I plan on wearing boots with this outfit. And I just don't think that I'm ever going to get around to actually wearing it to like go out somewhere because I don't really have any events that I plan on attending um, in the near future. So I feel like I should just go ahead and get it out of the way instead of saving stuff because I have so many clothes. I be sitting up here trying to save stuff and this one stuff never get worn and then I just order more and more. And stuff just never get worn. So, I'm going to go ahead, wear it for pictures. I feel like it's a bomb look. So, yeah. <laughs>
get into it okay y'all so this is the fit i haven't decided on what bag i want to wear with it but i got this from a um like small boutique small black business i found it on instagram i actually was planning on wearing this for my birthday photo shoot so i've had this since then and just haven't gotten around to wearing it so that's where i got this from y'all probably seen this in like various different colors on instagram they were real popular like back around the time that i got it well i hadn't seen anybody in it when i first ordered mine then like a few weeks later i started seeing it on everybody so i guess you could say i waited till you know the trend died down to wear mine okay so i got these camo shorts which if you watch my fashion nova haul then i got these camo shorts from fashion nova and then these boots i ordered from shein um so yeah that's what i was saying i have these boots and i probably won't wear these when it start getting too hot outside so i may as well just go ahead because i've had these boots for a minute too y'all and i just haven't gotten around to wearing them so i haven't decided on a bag but i am gonna wear these shades as well that i got from shein but this is the look i'm smelling good and i look good i can't wait to pose for my pictures i haven't took pictures in a while and my last picture got so much love. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that picture in the green sweater. Thank y'all so much. That said, we've gotten our hair done, makeup, fit, and we've chosen our fragrance. So I did want to mention that Dossier has a new payment method that allows you to earn store credits. So all you have to do is select catch at the end of your checkout process and you will earn a $10 bonus credit. So I wanted to mention that, but also, you know, you all do have a discount code that I'll leave here on the screen as well in the description box for whenever you're checking out. I definitely recommend you all to start earning some store credit because your girl is about to put y'all on to all the good Dossier fragrances and you go want to, you know, earn your store credit with all your purchases. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching today's Get Ready With Me. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. And like I said, once again, thank you to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, girl.